everyone's revving and going crazy and trying to move. Hey guys, so in the last video, I explained that we got the clutch and we got the flywheel installed on the Z. We did a little bit of testing and it felt great. We were right at that 500 mile threshold, so we didn't get to do as much testing as we wanted because I wanted to still be kind of gentle on it. However, it also was raining and we've had a lot of rain here in Florida for the last couple of days. So I didn't get to do as much drifting as I wanted. I didn't get to hit as many spots as I wanted to. So I had to cut some of the drifting short in the last video. However, in two weeks, we do have a drift event over at Orlando Speed World. So I've already gone ahead and I've changed all of the old tires that were on the rims from the last drift event, all the blown ones and burnt ones that we can't use. And I've already put new fresh rubber on those uh, rims. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spare just one set of tires for you guys. And I'm just gonna go hit a bunch of spots that I know and we're just gonna shred it and we're really gonna get a good feel for the clutch. So um, tomorrow we're gonna go scout out those spots and we're gonna hit them, shred them. Hopefully the clutch holds up and see how it feels. As you guys can tell, we moved spots. Uh, we went over to our local car meet, hanging out, and a bunch of my friends have never been drifting before, so I thought I would take them drifting on the new set of tires, and um, let's see their reaction. I'm gonna let them film it from the passenger seat.
so day two, and I gotta say, yesterday was awesome. We went drifting, and the clutch felt great, the flywheel felt great. I was destroying tires, and I haven't done a lot of street drifting in a while, so that was a lot of fun. And also taking my friends last night and seeing their reactions was priceless. Some of the things they said off camera was hilarious, even though I don't think I should include them in this vlog. But, that <laughs> the tires are burnt. So we're gonna go head over to the local tire shop. We're gonna go mount up some of the new tires, just so we have a full assortment of tires for the drift event on the 5th. All right, so as you can see, we definitely brought these tires down to the last drop of their life. There's even some wire showing, which I definitely don't wanna drive on. So we're gonna go get two of the new tires from my backyard and we're gonna go slap those on at the tire shop. We're in my backyard and this is the biggest problem I have, is I have got a lot of tires. They're all used tires, but most of them I've gotten for free. So if you're trying to drift or you're new to it and you wanna be able to drift but you don't have the money for the tires, just go to some local tire shops, ask them if they're throwing away tires, or if you have some friends that work at tire shops, see if they can throw you, you know, a discount or something. Switch, it'll save you a little bit of money. I've spent probably 10 to $15 for all of these tires in total, I would say, which is not bad at all because this is a ton of events left of tires. So let's find the ones that are right for the back of the car. We're running right now at 235, 55, 17. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if we can find maybe another 235 or stretch it down to a 225. So I think we have the two picked out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with the uh, Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s, which is exactly what we have on the car. Uh, this one's also a 235, 55, 17. So we're gonna go ahead and use these. They've got decent tread, so it should give us plenty of laps on the skid pad at OSW on the fifth. Um, and that should do it. They're going to be the exact same size, so we shouldn't have to stretch the tire and we should have the same fitment. We shouldn't have to raise the car up in the rear. So, no issues. The only thing about this that sucks is the fact that we have had a lot of rain in Florida. So these tires are full of water. And you don't want to put that in your car because that's a lot of water. So you just got to shake them out. And then we'll load them up, head over to the tire shop and get them mounted up. So we got all the tires loaded up in the car. We're headed over to AK Tire to get all of the new tires mounted on it. I want to go drifting on the new new tires, but I'm going to try to save them for the fifth when we go to OSW. But uh, me and Garrett are cruising there right now. And uh, let's go get the new tires mounted on. We got all the tires mounted up on the car. It's running great. We already did a small skid. I didn't get on video. I wish I got it on video. But we're actually meeting up, up here at racetrack and uh, at 7 o'clock actually. There goes Artie with his day. But at 7 o'clock we're actually going to meet up here. We're going to head down to Ormond Beach. We're going to go get some Mexican food and uh, maybe do a little bit of hooning on the way. So now we play the waiting game and wait for everyone to show up here. Already two. He's coming back. My little brother's coming back. He was here about five minutes ago. So now we wait. Well, it looks like everyone just about showed up. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to head out. We're gonna squat up, cruise down uh, the highway and go get some Mexican food. So we're trying to head out there and we're trying to go get dinner, but there's always that one guy in our group that has got to get gas. And that guy, unfortunately, is Garrett with his Z4. See, he does what you're not supposed to do and he leaves the car running while you pump gas because he is such a savage. Don't be that guy. 
don't be that guy because this is what he does every time every time we try to get gas he, or leave he's over here getting gas and holding up the squad trying to do all that but we're squatting up pretty deep got just about the whole row taken and we got even more coming but, as you can see everyone's having a rough battle out here <laughs> Well, we're back from dinner and I gotta say today and yesterday was amazing. We went street drifting out in Mexico. The clutch feels great, everything is awesome. And uh, I think that's about it. We got everything loaded up and stocked, all the tires and everything is all new. So on the 5th, we're gonna be going to OSW. We're gonna hit the event and um, hopefully we have the hydro in for the event. I don't know though, cause it is on back order. But we'll see. But until next time, please drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah!